Um, I, I have had a very, very blessed life. Um, but I, I'd like to tell you, I, I think it's more appropriate, if I may, instead of part of me would be learning about my quilting adventure and how I came to quilt. When I was 12 years old, I learned to quilt. My grandmother taught me how to quilt. And uh, every day for about two years on the way home from school, I would stop at Grandma's house and we would quilt. And I still have some of those quilts that we made together. And of course, uh, that was a long time ago. <laughs> and so she taught me how to hand quilt. And then quite honestly, I quilted with her for maybe four or five years and then I discovered boys. <laughs> and that was in the granny. So I stopped quilting and then I did other things and then I went on about my life. I went to school, went to Ohio State, uh, and then I started a career. I started out in uh, accounting and one of my companies, then I changed to computers. One morning, I, I just I sat straight up in bed and I had to quilt. I had to quilt. I just had to quilt. So I called up my brother, who still lived in Ohio, and I said, Charlie, I said, do you still have Grandma Mom's quilt frames? And he said, I do. And then he said, what do you want with them? And I said, I'm going to quilt. And he's my brother. <laughs> And he laughed hysterically for about 10 minutes and he made me so angry I hung, I hung up on him. <laughs> so then I called him back and I said, do you know where the frames are? And he said, yes. I said, I'll be there this weekend and pick them up. And he said, you don't know how to quilt. How long has it been since you quilt? And I said, okay. So I took a 40 some year plus vacation. I said, I remember. And he said, oh, I'll believe it when I see the whites of your eyes. So that weekend I showed up at his house and he had not got the frames out. So we got them out, cleaned them up, put them in the Jeep, went back to Virginia. Anyway, that very first Christmas after he gave me the frames, I got the frames maybe I'd say in June and the very first quilt off Grandma Mom's frames was his Christmas present that year. And so I made him eat those words. <laughs> then it was very interesting how things just seemed to happen for me. It's uh, just, I have started talking uh, to ladies at the church I was going to, and next thing you know, about six months later, we had a quilting ministry. And it was called Stitches of Hope. <laughs> and. Uh, we made quilts for uh, the oncology uh, for children, for the cancer patients at um, Richmond, at uh, UBC, and we also made uh, quilts for the cancer center at um, in Petersburg, where Fort Lee is, and we became very good, and I was with that quilt group then for five, six years. I know I'm rambling, but <laughs> it's like with Freddie, uh, just in, since I've known, let's see, in the three to four weeks that I've known that Freddie's coming to be a part of my life now, it has opened already such a world for me because I now look at quilting differently from the hand stitching and then to the machine stitching. And um, I mean, I met Joy when I, when I first moved back here to Ohio after I retired last year because I wanted her to long arm and she kept saying, oh, let me show you what I can do. She also has an APQS, so she was thrilled when I announced that I won. <laughs> and, um, and I said, oh no, edge to edge, plain neutral thread, just, just, just quilt it, nothing fancy. And, and to me, that's what a long arm was, was just something I could get the quilts done a heck of a lot faster than I could by hand and uh, just get it done so I could give them for Christmas presents. 
And she said, oh, please, please let me show you what I can do. So I gave her, let her do it. I gave her three quilts and I gave her one that she could do what she wanted to do on it. And she will tell you that when she returned it to me, I said, wow, you made that quilt prettier than it really is. <laughs> and she did. So, but now with Freddie coming, I, I look at these things and I look at the APQS website. Uh, I belong to the quilt show. I belong to, I, I follow a lot of quilting blogs and I look at their quilts now so differently because now I'll be able to do some of those things too. And I um, just can't wait to start learning and hope I do a good job of it. I was at uh, a DAR meeting with my friend uh, Sharon Walker, and Sharon is the second regent of uh, the local DAR, Daughters of the American Revolution chapter, and I attended one of the meetings and they were telling about the honor flight. Like four in Ohio, I'm not sure exactly how many, but it's nationwide. I think there are like 40 states that are participating in the honor flights. That there are at least every flight is filled, and these are the veterans for veterans only. And in the past couple years with the honor flights, they take only, they've been taking World War II and the Korean conflict. And um, recently now, they're, they're now moving to the Vietnam War. And um, for me as a child of the 60s, <laughs> that's my war. And uh, because I, ha I lost a very close friend in that war, and so that means, you know, it just means a lot to me. And uh, so I started talking to DAR, to this lady who was in charge of the program, and I said, have you ever thought about maybe we could give them quilts? Well, it was, it happened maybe just uh, four or five weeks ago, we got approval from the Ohio region of DAR that, uh, you know, that they were very thrilled. They loved the idea of the quilts and they said that they would help us in fundraising and do some things like that and fundraising for us. I'm just so blessed that I have this chance to put my new machine to good use and uh, this chance to learn new exciting things.